So, uh, thank you, Dave, and thank you, Ivan, for organizing this uh, event today. It's uh, so important. Thank you to the Alliance Against Displacement. My name is Mike Ma. I'm uh, a member of the Department of Criminology at um, Kwantlen Polytechnic University. And I've been doing some research here on the Strip uh, around homelessness, around substance use. And one of the things I just wanted to talk quickly about today is this question of supervised uh, injection. Um, as we know, uh, last year there was an emergency declared. Um, there was uh, a very shocking number of deaths uh, due to fentanyl and overdoses uh, last year. Uh, and a number of diff different municipalities, Surrey, uh, the city of Vancouver, have responded accordingly. Um, what, is, what is dismaying me is that in December, when this uh, overdose crisis happened, uh, Linda Hepner uh, made the statement, I remember hearing it very clearly on CBC, the morning show with Rick Clough, she said, the deaths have to stop, we have to stop the deaths. That's why she changed her mind uh, in terms of supporting safe injection. And so I think the citizens of Surrey, the residents of Surrey, thought that um, the, the mayor was really going to get behind this notion of supervised injection. And yet here we are in May and still there is no supervised injection site here. So uh, we've had January, we've had February, we've had March, and now we have an April. We've, we've had four months to prepare what would be actually a very simple thing, which is supervised injection. Uh, and yet the city of Surrey has not responded at all. Uh, when speaking to Fraser Health Authority, they have said that uh, they're hoping there will be a supervised injection site sometime at the end of May. But that's only if it passes through Health Canada. So even Fraser Health Authority is making this gesture that it might be longer because it's being held up by the feds, that it's not a municipal problem. Now if we look at how the city of Vancouver has addressed this problem. We know that, and I think one of the reporters earlier asked the question, well, what, what are other municipalities doing? Uh, well, we see that in the city of Vancouver, we have a uh, very successful, unsanctioned uh, supervised injection site, well-funded by the city of, uh, of Vancouver, uh, but, but they were able to do it uh, from a grassroots point of view, which is now funded through Vancouver Coastal Health. So why is it that we can't have something similar here? Uh, that site, which is right across from Inside on Hastings, serves up to four, maybe now, 500 people a day. So why can't we have a similar site here, right here, right beside the trailer here, or uh, on the other side of uh, Lookout Society? Why can't we have something similar here? So that, I think, would be the question that we must ask uh, the City Council. Thank you.